night, good morning, good day, good evening, afternoon, whenever you're watching. Looks like Diva Claus is kicking off a little LA. Absolutely not. Um, come December, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I feel like I'm being bullied into Christmas already. So let's get into the cocoa roasted chestnuts. You all, you have cocoa chocolate, you have uh, roasted chestnuts, and you have vanilla woods. Okay, so chestnuts. Let's get into what's chestnuts. Chestnuts in the state that we normally not the state i live in but you know when we normally buy them from the store and you open up the package and it's going to have a whiff of vanilla um like a vanilla accord to it right but if you take raw chestnuts like farmer's market chestnuts and you roast them during the holidays like uh people normally do then you're going to get a nuttiness but it's still going to bring out a vanilla note per se when you roast them Mm hmm. So chestnuts do chestnut is in the same family of hazelnut and the same family of macadamia nuts. So you can't quite wrap your head around what's the chestnut. Think hazelnut, think macadamia nut, um, but definitely not water chestnut. Now, that's something totally, totally different. And then the cocoa note that's used is that powdery cocoa mix that's in hot cocos and cream. And the vanilla woods, if you're looking for a straight out woodsy scent, this is not going to give it to you. Uh, play on words because I'm getting a little bit of spice note. So maybe the spice element came from a woodsy spice element they just didn't list exactly what that woods is so you're going to get chocolate you're going to get nutty you're going to get a little bit of spice again you're going to get chocolate you're going to get nutty you're going to get a little bit of spice thank fiera rocher uh with a little bit of clove like cinnamon yeah and needless to say i'm here for it because back here in this beauty room uh the the chocolate note the nuttiness the vanilla teeter in it some is still projecting really high back here it's still giving a 10 because it comes out of the bedroom door so while this candle is going i want y'all to think chocolate nutty spice chocolate nutty with a little bit of spice those warming spices just keep your mind around that right because you might have somebody that's not into chocolate um but hey i think this has enough of the vanilla and the nutty notes that you actually may enjoy this um but if you don't like chocolate i will say stay away from it because the once it pulls out the opening vibe you're going to get that chocolate note now out here on the open concept you all on this console table i still i give it about an eight out here with a medium to high remember i always say the stove knob is turned from medium to high is somewhere in between um, from the window to the wall like from the window to the dining room area it's there she's doing her thing not quite scratching across the kitchen counter so i can't give it a 10 however it is nice it is giving me christmas eve vibe when you all are setting up for santa and you want to leave a cup of hot cocoa um i think this would be the prettiest candle to burn to give you that vibe if you're going that way also, just think Fiera Rocher, chocolate cover hazelnuts, or chocolate cover macadamia nuts with a little bit of spice. Y'all, I kept saying that because this is making me feel really nostalgic because I'm missing our chocolate pistachio. Those of you that know, if you know, you know. If you've been around long enough, if you know, you know, I love that candle and this is making me feel so good that we have something not only nutty and spicy but you gave me a chocolate element to make us feel like thank you for giving us something brand new and something that actually throws so again i'm going to say this if you're not into sweets and gourmands then i would still say try it you all because your nose may pull more of the vanilla and more of the spice but if you're a person that definitely say oh no no chocolate no none of that then you want to stay away from this one but to me she is a beauty i have one and i want a few more because this makes me feel like chestnuts roasting on an open fire Y'all get what I'm saying. But yeah, when this one comes in store, definitely go ahead and grab one, grab a few. Because I can even see this in the fall. I can see this in the dead of winter come January on a cold, toasty night where you just want to feel warm and cozy, you all. Other than that, I'm going to hit y'all with some more reviews because the preview is going on. Hopefully, these are out when the sale is going so y'all can really take advantage of it at a good price. 
And um, I need to get my Black Friday haul together. I was going to skip out on it, but baby, these right here hitting the floor, and I'm all here for it. And I'm going to see y'all on the next review. Bye. P.S. Burn her with Praline Delight or that hazelnut one we had two candle days ago. It won't disappoint. Okay, now bye for real.